Did everybody floss their teeth this morning? Yeah? Good? Me too. Um, so I've been looking for analogies to explain InnerSource uh, to people that haven't thought about it before, and this one occurred, so we're going to try it and see how it goes. Uh, so first of all, I said before that InnerSource is, I think, the long tail of open source. And by that, I mean everybody that's going to figure out open source in terms of companies has already done it. And the people that haven't gotten there yet in companies and governments and lots of other places aren't getting there because of cultural impediments. And so I think it's kind of an 80-20 thing where we have 80% of the open source left to go, but it's going to come to us in the form of inner source. So it's really worth working on, especially if you're an advocate of, of this kind of methodology. So here are some companies that are publicly talking about their experiments in inner source since we started talking about it last year. And as you can see, these are just the public ones. There's a lot of other people doing experiments, but um, this is, indicates a pretty broad spectrum of different parts of the industry. It's not all people that just create technology, but uh, they're all finding use in this methodology and it's helping them make change. So. Um, we found it really interesting that this book, which we're going to have some of at our booth, uh, we, we wrote this last year for the announcement, and it is today the most downloaded asset on github.com, which tells you that there's a lot of people interested in this. Um, so that's good, right? <laughs> Even Austin Powers likes it, although, yeah, as you can see, he could use some dental help. So um, let's get back to the dental analogies. Anybody know what this is? I can't really see you guys, but yell it out if you think you know. Plaque. Yeah, this is a microscopic picture of plaque. And I notice that when companies accrete uh, bad engineering practices, it's sort of like plaque. It sort of happens while you're sleeping, you know, <laughs> when you're not looking, and then you have to work pretty hard to, to remove that stuff or change it. And so, um, you know, we're all familiar with, with how plaque happens, but I want to talk about sort of engineering plaque, if you will. So when you see lack of collaboration, you see lack of innovation, ownership culture that creates silos where people don't talk to each other very much, um, lack of support for change, these are the kinds of things that we would like to change with InnerSource. And it's just using open methodology inside your company, but it's surprisingly difficult to get it off the ground because you have to first understand what's going on in your company. And um, we're going to talk later about some opportunities to think about how to get started with this stuff. Of course, the common and cul um, cultural impediments are kind of like the candy, right, that, that are going to cause the plaque in the first place. So <laughs> the not invented here syndrome is a big problem and very common, I think, inside of big companies. At least that's what we're finding. Um, the lack of support for, uh, for change and, and a sort of cultural willingness to push back against change, even if it seems like it's going to help, right? Um, Everybody knows about escalation-driven development cycles where e no matter what you planned to build, you're going to end up building whatever the people yelling at you from the top tell you to do in a given sprint. Right? These are all problems that InnerSource can help with. So um, you know, in order to actually get at making that change happen, you have to work in a way that isn't going to trigger the antibodies in your culture to kill you. And so you have to be rational, you have to be deliberate. It's really helpful, we found, if you do a lot of coaching. So just like when you're teaching your kids to brush their teeth and floss. Um, some of the coaching that's been really helpful to us is setting a manageable experiment, setting expectations really clearly, being con concise but clear in the instructions that you give, and then measuring the outcomes so that you can prove to management that this is worth doing. So we have some advice about that. Um, that, that we can impart to you if you come to some of our sessions. Um, obviously, if you're going to get involved in this kind of change, you want to you know, go to school to learn how to do it. And we have a place to go for that. We call it InnerSourceCommons.org. And there are over 50 companies involved, but I can't tell you who they are other than the public ones, because we work under Chatham House rules. So if you are InnerSource curious as a company, you can come 
to Intersource Commons and nobody's gonna out you for being there. And you can learn from other companies like yours uh, about what's working for them and what isn't. Um, and so in this way, we're starting to think of Intersource really as kind of the floss of changing your engineering culture. So um, we really hope that you will come and see us at our booth today or tomorrow and that you will generally join Intersource Commons. There's a Slack channel um, that's pretty low traffic except when something interesting is happening. So it's worth doing. Uh, we don't spam a lot of things, you know. And, um, and so, as I said, we hope that you'll join us. Okay, I have to ask, can anybody tell me whose smile this is? Good job. They had a really, really recognizable smile. You could smile like this too if you got interested in Intersource. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's a little quick recap of the stuff that PayPal's doing here at the conference today and tomorrow. We have a session at 11.40 that will be an expansion um, with actual viable facts instead of just you know five minutes of fluff. Um, we have a BOF tonight, so if you're already involved in Intersource, by all means come to the BOF. We'd be very happy to talk to you. Um, we are hosting the Ignite um, sessions tomorrow and there'll be some content there, but the big thing is the tutorial on Wednesday is three hours of getting started with Intersource. And so if you're interested in doing this, you want to figure out how to convince your company to go there, then that's a good place to start. Thank you very much.